This is about education, and it's specifically about education as it affects African Americans, and it's specifically honoring all those folks who have come before us who have blazed a trail to ensure that African Americans have access to equal opportunity and successful progress when it comes to education. And the reason for that is because education is the one common denominator, the one key that will open whatever door needs to be open for your future life. All of you young people that are sitting here, there are young people all over the world who never have a chance to go to school, who live in countries where there are no schools, who will never have the opportunity to create a new vaccine for humanity or to come up with a formula for better transportation. There are no doctors or lawyers or engineers that are going to come out of some of those places because they don't have an education. And for too long in this country, African Americans were subjugated to less of an education than their white brethren were allowed to receive. And through the efforts of so many people on whose shoulders so many of the rest of us stand, that changed. And a large part of that has a distinct history right here in our own state and right here in this own city. When you compile all of that information together, you can understand that there is a particular reason for celebrating the education component this year in Black History Month. We celebrate different aspects of African American contributions periodically, but certainly we do it annually during Black History Month. But I don't know of a better subject matter to be able to discuss than education, because education is what allowed me to stand in front of you. Education is what has allowed so many people in this room to grab their share of the American dream. And education, as much as anything else, will set you free. It'll certainly set your minds free. <laughs> Lamar Davis, my Deputy Chief of Staff, brought me something this morning, and it has zero to do with the theme of what we're here about. It has nothing to do with education. But it struck me, it certainly struck him, and it struck me of such significance that I want to close with it, because it really talks about how we should treat each other. Most of the adults in this room remember, either personally or through education, the remarks of Robert Kennedy on the day that Dr. King was assassinated. For you young people, Robert Kennedy as Attorney General running for, well, he was a senator actually at the time, running for President of the United States, was in Indianapolis, Indiana to give a speech and was giving a speech in an African-American neighborhood when word came that Dr. King had been assassinated in Memphis. He had to deliver that information, which was a shock to that audience. He pled for restraint and understanding, and he tried to calm the waters at the time. But what he said at the end of it is a lifelong sentiment that should be repeated not just at Black History Month events, not just at events that try to speak to the importance of education, not just at civil rights events, but at all times applicable to the human condition. He said what we need in the United States is not division, what we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another and a feeling of justice towards those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black. God bless you.